On today's tutorial, I'll show you how to make a sleeping baby cake topper. Hi guys, Anita here and welcome to Anita's Cake Bakery. I'll show you how to pipe using royal icing to make a beautiful Corneli lace effect on the cake topper. Okay, let's get started. Roll your modeling paste to around four to five millimeters in thickness. Next, you need to cut a circle using your scalloped edged cookie cutter. Use your patchwork cutter to emboss diamonds on your circle. As your patchwork cutter is smaller than the circle, you will need to use your knife to mark out the rest of the pattern. Now I'm using a quilting stamp in each corner. Next you need to secure your sugar craft baby which I've made earlier onto the base with some edible glue or water. So now we need to make the dress for the baby. Roll and cut your modelling paste into a semicircle shape and cut off the two top corners. At this point you may need to try this piece of modelling paste on the baby a few times until you get the perfect fit and shape. Just remembering that it needs to be as wide as the base because you're going to need the excess modelling paste to make the ruffles. Now just use your finger to push down the modelling paste into all the creases. Now to make the ruffled part of the dress, I've used the end of a paintbrush. And my fingers to make the creases. Now I'm cutting off any excess modelling paste. Now to make the sleeves of your baby's dress, you need to cut two small rectangles and use the end of a small rolling pin to make the frills. You can glue these on with some edible glue or water. Now to make a small belt for the middle part of the baby's dress, I've cut a long strip of modelling paste. Attach this with some water and cut off any excess. Now I've filled a piping bag with some royal icing and a number one tip. And the design technique I'm going to pipe onto the dress is called Corneli Lace. Corneli Lace is actually continuous squiggly lines that do not overlap. Continue with this technique until all of the bottom part of the dress is covered.
going to make a small bow for the baby's head using modelling paste. Push the paste into the mould and leave to set in the freezer. Now I'm going to embellish the belt with some edible pearls. Brush your belt with some edible glue so that your pearls can stick. I found that using tweezers to pick up the pearls made it so much easier as the pearls are really, really tiny. I also used one of the pearls at the neck of the dress to mimic a button. So now I've taken the bow out of the freezer, it should be so much easier to come out of the mold. And now you can use some edible glue or water to stick the bow onto the baby's head, just above her ear. Now to finish off the baby, I like to use some pearl white luster dust. Use your paintbrush to brush the dust over the dress, the bow and the base. And lastly, I brushed a tiny bit of peach dust on the baby's cheek. And there you have your finished sleeping baby cake topper ready to be placed on top of your special occasion cake. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. For future videos, make sure to subscribe and to get notified, go ahead and hit that notification bell. Thank you and see you soon. Bye.